<laughs> yes. All right. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining Live Fully tonight. I am so excited to have our special guests, James and Dana McChristian, with us tonight, who are both members of the Isogenics 100 Pound Club. And um, oh my gosh, you guys, I, I feel like I have to have the disclaimer up um, to even talk about your stories because your results are not <laughs> typical. <laughs> They're amazing. But not typical. Um, oh my gosh, James, you've lost 115 pounds um, in less than a year. So I, know I won't put the exact time frame to it because we know that that's not compliant. And Dana, you've lost 108 pounds. Um, holy cow. Th those are just massive, massive results. Um, let me start by asking you guys, um, I mean, you, you guys have done this together from the beginning, right? I mean, maybe, yeah. um, you know, who's, who started first or did you both, you know, come on board, um, you know, at the same time and say, we're going to do this together? Like what, you know, kind of in a few minutes, like what was your journey? How did, how did you guys get started with Isogenics? I signed up first um, and we started my system together. Um, Willie, I didn't give him an option. I said, I'm going to do this and you're doing it with me and we'll see where it takes us. <laughs> and then two weeks later, he looked at me and said, you're not going to let me run out of products, right? And at that moment, that's when I signed him up. So then we did. We started exactly the same date as each other and been our support system. So what are, tell me, like, what are some of the, the biggest factors that kept you focused on reaching the goals? Because especially with, you know, the short time that you guys were able to, you know, achieve what you have. And I know that you're, you're probably still, you know, going, you're, you're, you're not stopping yet. Um, you know, did you hit some bumps in the road? Like what have been the things that have really kept you going? I'm going to let James, because if I say it... <laughs> I'm going to cry through the whole thing because, you know, so I'm going to let him take over on that. Well, basically, my, my whole thing was when I, back in February, I got injured at work where I had an open head wound and I couldn't do nothing, no driving or nothing like that because it was, I had to stay open and I had to keep gauze and everything on it. Well, after two months of going through getting myself healed up on that wound, I go to my doctor and he says, well, the wound looks good. But now we have to work on your other important factors. And I kind of looked at him like he was crazy. And he's like, well, you're, you're almost 400 pounds. Your blood pressure is out of whack. Your diabetes is out of whack. He said, if you don't do something, you're not going to see your kids graduate. And my thing is, is my son is now a junior in high school. So that basically gave me just a little over three years to live. So I grabbed on Isogenics with both horns and ran that thing into the ground as much as possible. With the full support of everybody here, Jordan, everybody, Morgan, everybody in Isogenics team, I mean, they were all very supportive. You know, every time when you post something, just like Jordan said, you know, I was more of the product of the product than I was the sales part of it. And just the fact of seeing myself in my own pictures is what made everything with me keep going to where I am now and also still going because of the fact that nobody – Nobody was really noticing it. I mean, me, me personally, I wasn't noticing it at all. You know, I was. everybody was saying it, and I kept telling them how crazy they were and everything like that until I actually started seeing the pictures and all that stuff. So, And now I'm going towards my next goal of trying to hit 200 pounds by next celebration. So, <laughs> We know you're going to do it. That is for sure. <laughs> I know you guys are a part of that rocking team in Michigan, and um, I mean Jordan has helped so many people. It's just, it's just so inspiring, um, you know, to see your whole team and how everybody's doing. Um, share a little bit about what kind of support you've gotten, you know, from the team, and like how has that made a difference in in your journeys? I mean, like I, you know, I having been overweight a lot of my adult life have tried a lot of different, you know, nutrition systems, diets, fads, everything. But, um, you know, the culture here is one of the things that's made such a huge difference of, um, you know, being able to just 
stay on track because you know that you have the support you know, of other people. And I know that's really a close knit team there. Talk a little bit about how that's helped you guys along the way. Oh, where can I start? Um, granted, yes, I met Jordan. I met Casey. I met Lindsay and Amanda at Jordan's house. We were two weeks into the system and something just said to me that we needed to go. That wasn't us to go and meet complete strangers, but I'm like, we need the support besides Julie who signed us up. I'm like, we need to meet some of the other teams so that we have the accountability. Never in a million years did I think that we would have the support from the team like, like we had. I mean, Morgan and I and James have talked on the phone. I mean, to the point that Morgan even forgot that she hadn't met us until celebration, <laughs> you know, and because I felt like, you know, I mean, we're family and that's, you know, and these are people that we have never met. And, you know, if it wasn't for that support, yes, I think we still would be where we're at. But do I think it could have been as quick as what we did? No, absolutely not. Because I've tried all of them. I've tried Weight Watchers. I did the keto. I, you know, every diet out there I tried and there was never that support. So it never worked. And everything that I've lost, I gained back tenfold. You know, I didn't think I had to lose weight until I stepped on the scale when I made him do it. And I'm like, oh, well then. <laughs> I mean, because then I realized, oh my gosh, here I am almost 300 pounds. How is that even possible? But the support system is like no other. I absolutely love this team because even when we did fail, we had those people that cared enough to say, hey, you know what? you need to get back on and don't let it get you down. Even outside of Michigan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got team members all over, well, shoot, all over the globe, really. Um, <laughs> how, how hard was it? I mean, you, you know, you started this new system. You had to have been skeptical, right? Like you've got, it's not like you have to lose five or 10 pounds. I mean, you've got some, you know, some big goals to reach. Like how hard has it been to actually use the system and implement it into your daily lives? No, it hasn't. I mean, honestly, it has not been hard. For me, it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's when I took over. But, but, you know, I mean, it was for me, it wasn't because I knew that for me, the outcome was I've been married to him for 20 years and it, I wasn't willing to not have my husband by my side and my kids to not have a father. So for me, it was, okay, I'm jumping in all in and I'm going to make this work one way or the other. So for me, it wasn't hard. James did struggle, but you know, <laughs> he can talk about it. <laughs> now, I don't know what you thought was hard, James. You're, I mean, 115 pounds in the amount of time that you lost it. I was like, okay, what was hard? Because you crushed it. <laughs> yeah, well, mine, mine was more... Like I said before, I mean, I've, I've said it on my post and everything a lot. My whole choice for isogenics, besides the fact that data made me do it, was mine was full life saving. You know, I mean, I had three years to live. If I didn't do something, I mean, I two years from now, I wouldn't be here at the weight that I was going. You know, I mean, 400 pounds, high blood pressure, diabetes. It was, I was running the full blown. Everything was going to kill me right now. And like I said, besides the fact that, like Dana said, we tried everything in their mother. You know, I mean, I sat and tried starving myself times. And I had to get into basically the mindset of what was going on with isogenics. You know, two shakes, two snacks, have a meal. You know, I mean, I, my job makes me, I walk as much as possible. So that's my, a lot of my exercise. We walk at home or here. We got a pool also. I mean, it's, everything is there. But my that was the one thing that scared me into the such short time on the weight loss was the fact that he looked me straight in the eye and told me that I was going to die if I didn't do something. And then and it only kicks into that switch of my kids are not going to have their father. My wife's not going to have her husband, you know, or my friends aren't going to know, have me no more, you know, and it's just, it was just, it scared me to death. So that's when I just grabbed and ran. <laughs> You know, uh, Dana, you said never in a million years did you think that you guys could accomplish this. I bet never in a million years did you think you'd be walking the stage in front of 15,000 people 
Oh, that scared um, the hell out of me. <laughs> right together. I, I have to know, like, tell me, tell me about that whole experience, you guys. Like, what, what was that like, you know, being backstage with all of these other people that have achieved these massive goals with this system and like being, you know, amidst all of these people that have supported you so much along the way. I was in awe. I mean, I, I felt like James and Morgan got the lucky because they were right next <laughs> to each other. <laughs> I was by myself up in the front with, you know, people that I really hadn't talked to, hadn't met until our thread came for celebration. Um, not gonna lie, I was scared to death. Five minutes before, I was like, either I'm gonna pass out or I'm gonna puke, take your choice. <laughs> and then I really had to, for me, I had to talk myself through it. I'm like, no, you deserve this. You put in the work, you did this, you made it happen. So you deserve to walk out on that stage and be confident about where you're at. And I look at the picture still and I'm like, oh my God, I've never seen that confidence in me ever. <laughs> but you know, for me that, you know, it, it was scary, but I had a ton of fun. <laughs> um, I guess mine, I was, I would say, you know, when we started getting all the stuff in the mail to say, you know, congratulations and all that, it was a good run. But then when it started getting closer, when, you know, that we were going to be walking across the stage and everything like that is when I started getting real nervous. You know, we got backstage. I got more nervous, but I was more nervous about the fact of Morgan throwing up on me than anything else. So I had to balance that out a little bit. So after a while, it was all, it was all good. And, you know, it's my whole process is like being as big as I was, you know, you don't want, I don't walk out, want to walk out on the stage and have people judge me. that's what I had in my mindset for a long time was that I was going to have people judge me when I walked out there and then you know like everybody said Morgan everybody Dana everybody said you know you're out here because of what you accomplished and all these people are here to help you celebrate your accomplishment and then after we got out there and you know it was all done basically done and over with except we were standing there then I started to settle down a little bit but it was it's the great, greatest experience I've ever had, and I can't wait till next year. <laughs> well, I plan to be there in person next year because I, I want to see it up close and personal. Um, you guys, are ju I mean, just phenomenal, phenomenal results. Um, having your lives changed so incredibly, you know, with this nutrition system, with the, the culture of this company, you guys are also building a business, and so you're sharing it you know, with other people. And so there's obviously, you know, an income that's, that's now related to, to this whole journey. How has that motivated you to, you know, go out and, and, and talk to other people about what's possible, you know, with, in, in, in making like gigantic changes in their health? Like, you know, what you've been through is, is just so amazing. Like, tell me about, you know, how that's really, changed your lives to be able to change other people's lives he's my isogenic spokesperson i don't usually use myself it's him <laughs> <laughs> but you know for me for the longest time and and i will say i am going to start the healthy mind and body because i do still struggle with that so it's something i need to do because i see his accomplishments more than i see mine and I still look and I see that person. And I'm like, uh, but you know, I, I utilize him and you know, I mean people that struggle and I'm like, you guys, I'm telling you, I, I started it because of him. I started it to save him because I honestly didn't think I needed to change. I didn't see 300 pounds until I stepped on the scale and then it was a huge reality check. Yeah. I love the fact that, you know, we're slowly growing our business and it will get there. I foresee that in the year. I don't want to be working, you know, I want to be there for my kids and that's what I see. But, you know, I like it that one of our systems is paid for, you know, and I try to explain to everyone when they're like, Oh, cost and everything else. And I'm like, but really is it, you'll spend $400 a month in junk food. I just and you know, <laughs> you know, why, why not? feed yourself right. You know, I mean, and the few people I've had, you know, that signed up and one of them ran up to me the, today at work and she's like, I love you. The only thing I'm mad about is you didn't force me to start this sooner. 
And I looked at her, I said, I will never force anyone. <laughs> you have to be ready or it won't work. As I cried at work too. So, you know, I've become very emotional through this. <laughs> <laughs> James, um, go ahead. I was, my, I'm just gonna say I'm not really pushing the business part of it. I'm helping Dana get her business going. But like I've said before, I'm the I'm a product of the product. You know, I talked to Jordan. Jordan says, you know, go on some of these diabetic pages. Don't push isogenic, but you know, just go on and start showing pictures. You know, of what you've been doing and what you what you've accomplished and all that. And my process more is the fact you know i don't like to go out and push anything on nothing you know i'll go out i'll post my pictures i mean as everybody can see i like i post pretty much every day or every other day you know i do these different sayings i do stuff and once in a while i'll throw it out hey you know this is what i've been doing you guys can see what i've been doing i mean i have people that have known me for 40 years that are just now starting to reach out to me asking what the hell i'm doing because i look better at 40 than they do kind of thing and i've got people and all of my diabetic pages, you know, that are just wandering because if they're friends with me, they automatically see what I post out. And it's just pulling people in. You know, I had a lady that text, sent me a message today real quick that she said that, I don't know if you know anything, you don't know, I don't know if you know about this or not, but all your posts have helped a friend of mine who's diabetic, which is on the fence, on getting on the program or not. And do you mind if I share your story with her or whatever? And I said, you know, hey, share what you want to if you need to. I'm here. Feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to any help. I help any way I can. And you know, ever since, even before on the stage, after the stage, you know, I've been I was getting messages from people all the time saying, "Hey, you know, do you mind if I share your story?" I had these people that would like to check this out, and it was just like, like I told Dana, or Jordan told us about it. He said, "You know, after these people see you walk across the stage, you're gonna, you guys are gonna become like celebrities type thing." And it was like funny as heck because. We, did, we were like in our own little bubble kind of thing, you know, with the isogenics world. And all of a sudden it was like, we exploded. And it was, everybody's doing it now. You know, they're talking to us about everything. And I'm kind of getting overwhelmed at point. I'm like, I, let me hold on. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, other than that, it's a pretty good run. So. Well, I mean, being the example couldn't be a better teacher for people. Exactly. You don't, you know, you talk about like not wanting to force you know, people to get started. It's like, you don't need to when people can see, you know, how it's changed your lives and the difference that it's made. So I, I'm just so grateful that you both agreed to, to come on here and, and, you know, inspire us all with your stories. And we're so proud of you and we love you so much. And um, I guess you know, I want to give you guys the last word. Um, what's one thing that you might leave somebody with um, you know, that's maybe thinking about getting on the system or making a change in their health, but they feel like they really have a long way to go, you know, a big goal. What would, what would you leave them with? I would say is, oh, it, whenever you take that, make that first step, don't look back, just keep going forward. That's what I did. That's what I've known people to do. And it just keeps you going towards your goal. And nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes and, you know, stumble. And there's times I fell flat on my face. And But as long as you pick back up and keep going, it, you'll get to where you need to be. I always say when we fall flat on our face, that's why we cleanse. There's always, there's <laughs> always the ability to be back, <laughs> back on the horse. You guys, thank you so much. Congratulations, 100 Pound Club members. We know we're going to see you on the stage again next year. And um, and we love you. Thank you for joining tonight. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>